Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jack, Zafra 991 and what I've got for you today is actually a little bit of a investigation video. So we're going to see if we can figure out what is up with the roulette system in GT7 and see maybe if we can get to the bottom of it and see exactly what's happening with it. If you like what you see guys, feel free to chuck the video a like, subscribe if you're new and yeah, anyway, so you see in the background here, we've just opened our first roulette ticket. We got 18, no sorry, we got 17 roulette tickets going through here and uh, we're getting these lower stars out of the way at the beginning here is what I built up over time from doing the story and just not opening them on my main account now, the RA underscore Zafra account. And you're seeing here, I'm getting the smallest amount each and every time so far. Um, this is really not good. Um, I think the reason why the roulette tickets are such poor payouts and such poor rewards is to really enhance buying micro microtransactions. And um, of course, I don't support microtransactions in a game you pay full price for. So of course, I'll never be paying for microtransactions anyway. Um, but of course, since the recent update, so we're in V1.08 at the moment, um, actually grinding and getting money is now a lot slower and a little bit more difficult. So it's just a, a lot harder to buy the cars you want, especially the, you know, the, the really expensive cars in the legendary dealership. But there you go, we got another smallest reward right here. And uh, there you go, another 5k. Um, yep, the money's adding up, I guess, but in uh, very small amounts. Um, we're moving on to another one star here. And that block, that golden bar, that's about 100,000 right there. So that would be all right. Um, there's a BMW i3 there as well. We see some brakes, a couple of bits of money, but of course it's going to be the smallest amount of money, which is probably about two grand here. Is that two grand? No, it's five grand. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, extra three grand more than I was expecting. Um, of course, ideally you want to be getting the highest roulette tickets, which is all by chance, it's all randomized. But of course it always is helpful if you get what you want. Um, of course I would like to build up my car collection, but in addition I'd like to have a lot of money uh, so I can buy stuff. So ideally the, the better rewards would be great. Uh, there's 10k right there. We've seen a couple of cars actually. I had the Audi not long ago, the Honda Civic Type R at the beginning. Um, what we got here, is that the Lexus maybe? Yes, that's going to be a Lexus. Uh, with some brakes and another golden bar, but again, we're going to get the smallest reward here, which is money you could pretty much probably just count. But there you go, another 10k, which you can get 10k for pretty much doing most things in this game if you do it cleanly anyway. Um, now, I think that is a... is that a Toyota there on the right? I'm not sure, but I'd really like that car. Don't know why, just why not, right? Um, my screen's a little bit small right now, but anyway, I would love a decent reward we do get a tuning part here racing silencer uh, for the toyota there so maybe we'll have to check that out at some point and see how that fares but not really much um not really much in terms of luck right now uh we got a sirocco there in the right on the white but again we're going to get this tiny little cash prize reward i mean the money's adding up but again as i mentioned earlier it's just not really not really a whole lot so i think pd really need to sort out the prize scenario they've got bac mono there um i do think it would help people want to complete daily challenges and do other stuff in the game a lot more it would really enhance the experience in my opinion so who knows maybe if they will you know look at this video or anything maybe that could be like the one thing they take away from this but yeah you see and we're just going to smash out some of the lower rewards real quick before we go to the bigger ones we've got a couple of ones and two stars before we get to the four stars so let's quickly get these done um, so I think with this new patch, because it's nerfed the amount of money you can make at once, I think that's the RX-8 there, uh, the Mazda, because uh, they've nerfed the amount of money you can make per challenge and per uh, per like races and whatnot, you're really on the back foot. And again, this is all pushing microtransactions in my opinion. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. But things do get spicy now. So let's have a little look back at these two stars here. Look at that, we got a Ford Mustang there. That would be a fairly good reward, actually. Wouldn't mind that after opening about maybe 13 of these now. But no, actually, we're not gonna get money. We're gonna get, what is this? We're gonna get racing crankshafts. Okay, fair enough for the TT Coupe. Maybe we'll have to buy that at some point or win it. <laughs> if that is possible, I don't know. Okay, anyway, what we got here? We've got, actually I can't work out what that is. Is that springs maybe? Uh, camshaft, okay, fair enough. 
Um, there you go, last two star. And then we can work on the four four stars. So again, that's going to be another Toyota right there. Wouldn't be a bad reward by any means. But let's, let's say we're getting a couple of tuning parts actually lately. So there we go. I suppose this is going to help somewhat, although probably not. Anyway, we've got three four star tickets. So let's just see if we can get any luck in these. And um, look at that, we've got five golden bars. So that's 500,000. You've got a Citroen, which it looks like Daltonator won recently. You've got a Ferrari invite and an engine swap. I mean, most of them rewards would be cool. But I would kind of prefer the car. But actually, the money's not too bad. That is actually quite a sizable amount of money. So, you know, that's all right. I can understand getting, getting that money. So, here we go. Who's ready for some spice? So, here we go. We got the Mercedes there on the left. We got a nitrous boost. That's worth about 100,000, I think, the nitrous. So that would be a really good reward. A Porsche invite. But we are going to get that Mercedes. So, you know, I'll take that. I'll take that. It could be, it could be all right. Uh, it could be an all right car. Maybe we'll end up using it in the daily race at some point. And uh, look at that lovely confetti. A nice little cheeky reward there. Uh, at least like, you can get some good rewards, but <laughs> just seems to be very, very unlikely. Anyway, the last four-star ticket, what are we going to get here? See, a BMW i3, exhaust, a new engine, an invite for Citroen there. Um, what's it going to be? Smallest amount of money? No, it's going to be the i3. So we actually did get two cars. So look at that. It looks like winning anything other than the smallest amount of money is possible, as we've proved in this video here. Just very unlikely. <laughs> but let me know what your thoughts are, guys, in the comments below. And um, let me know what you've won from your awards in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new, like the video all that fun stuff and I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks for watching and take care.